you got? It's gonna take more than a few firecrackers to kill Danny Green. The Cadillac? It was Danny Green's. Put a 24-hour tail on him. The Irish have this expression. He's a man you don't meet every day. That was Danny, all right. We both grew up on the east side, in Collingwood. Danny was an orphan. He was raised by his grandfather in a dump on Waterloo Road. He was a good athlete. Made all Metro basketball and baseball. School held no interest. But Danny was already marching to a different tune. Back then, everything in Cleveland was controlled by the Mafia, which had been run since the 40s by one man, John Scalish. Every day after school was Danny and his friend Billy McComber against this one group of Sicilian kids. I don't know why they hated Danny so much. You know what they say, kids will be kids. As for me, I joined Cleveland PD at age 18. After 12 years, I made detective investigating organized crime on the Lake Erie Shore. All right, listen up, man. Greenbot. Nun Jester, William. Paulette, Roger. Bueller, Leo. Walton, William. Green, Daniel. Snappinger, Arthur. Walton, George. Macomba, William. Oh, great. It's only 91. Wait till noon. What is that? It's one of those container ships out of New Orleans. They're gonna put us all out of business. And who told you that, Danny? Yeah. Where does he learn that shit? He reads. I read? Comics don't count, Art. What's this all about? You know the rules. Temperature hits 110, we're done. I got a contract to unload these barges by close of day, and I will fulfill that contract. Someone's gonna die in there. Who? Him? Nah, that's fine to me. In the pink. If you want to continue working in this union, quit your belly aching and get back up there. Come on, Danny. Nice and down. You know, Danny, we at the National Chapter don't support Mark. He doesn't care about the rank and file, and that's a problem. You ever think about running against him? <laughs> you mean president? I, I don't know, Mr. Gilroy. The guys look up to you. I've seen it. I didn't even finish high school. So what? You read the entire Library of Congress. <laughs> Think about it. Hey, I'm Lois. I'm Art. I'm Billy. Hi, Hi, Billy. Uh, who's friend? No, no, don't bother. He doesn't like girls. What you got there? Oh, a little light reading, huh? Yeah. And my family's from Kildare. Nice. Mm. Your friends said that you don't like girls. They're being ironic. Gotcha. You know what? You say the opposite for laughs. Well, I think that you are the ugliest man on Lake Erie, and I'd rather kiss Richard Nixon. <laughs> Sweet 
did it. Really? What makes me so special? Because you're different than all those idiots. I'm in really big trouble. What's in there? Wait here. I'm a friend of Art Snappaker's. Well, Snepperker's got no friends here. Come over here. Now it looks like your friend owes us a lot of money. He can't pay. I came here to John Nardi's casino to tell him that your friend can't pay. You know who he is? Everyone in Cleveland knows who John Nardi is. I got a proposition. You believe this fucking guy? Well, let's hear what he's got to say. I took care of it. What? I want one thing in return. You gotta promise me we'll never gamble again. Yeah. Can you do that, Art? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, Danny. Promise me. I promise. Get out of here. What can I do? Tell me, what can I do for you? Resign. That's out of the question. Then I'll run against you. Running plows on a grain ship's one thing. Running a union's quite another. Think you're moving up? New career? I don't think so. I think you're gonna tell Mr. Gilroy you're not interested. And then you're going to pay me half of what you've been making with your WAP friends in the container yard. Oh, I didn't know about that either. I got no moral issues with it, mind you. I just want my cut. But next time, the Cleveland PD will pay a visit to your house. Oh, they're my friends, too. And then it's over. You won't work in any union anywhere. You won't exist. I'll come to your house and drink all your beer. I'll visit your girlfriend in the back bedroom. And you, sir, will take it. Because you have to. Be in the machine shop at midnight. I'll send my man to pick up the cash. Now get the fuck out of my office. throws a hand grenade at you. Take the pin out and throw it back. You hear how the Polish firing squad died? Stood in a circle. Come on, Joe. Let's dance.
Jabuka! Joe's not here. I'll give you three seconds. To do what? Huh? To do what? Go ahead. Yank it. Get out. Places a dump. Clean up the freight yard. And replace those signs. Sick to death of looking at them. Repaint these goddamn stairs. What's the color you want? Green. Steiner. Harley. Hulk. Richard. Harlett. Roger. Pitchford. Harold. Stock Barge. Van Scoder. Harold. Mr. McLeish, Danny Green. I know who we are. You're the tool who sent me this. Four thousand to unload each vessel? Are you out of your fucking mind? The price is two thousand. We have a contract and you're going to honor it. Or I'm going to lock out your union. Is that clear, you fucking potato eater? Potato eater. Seeing as how the potato was the only source of nutrition in Ireland for 300 years, and half the population, including my ancestors, died in the Great Famine. I'd say that term is insensitive. Speaking of culinary tastes, Mr. McLeish, you're Scottish, aren't you? Let's talk about haggis. Haggis is seasoned lard stuffed into a sheep's colon. So I may be a potato eater, Mr. McLeish, but I don't eat fat out of a sheep's asshole. What do you think of the new carpet? After all these years, I'd lost track of Danny Green. You can imagine my surprise when I heard a guy by the same name had been elected president of the Longshoremen's Union. This is John Scalish. I wondered if it was the same guy from my neighborhood. Yeah, same guy. It was only a matter of time before he started hanging out at that theatrical grill. Every city's got a theatrical. The one place where crooks and cops sit side by side. Mr. Green wants you to know he appreciates a fine job Cleveland PD are doing. He wants to pick up your tab. Tell Mr. Green that Cleveland PD will pick up its own tab to avoid any look of impropriety. But thank you. He said, no, something about the
Scientific Menditsky? Steve Marshak, with the newspaper. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, I know who you are, Mr. Marshak. I read your column. What can I do for you? Somebody told me you played hoops against Danny Green in high school. Is that true? Was he really the best player in Metro East? Second best. So you're going to do a story on Danny? But the rags to riches from orphan to union president, something like that? Well, we're going to do a story on him, all right. Just not the kind he's going to like. Call this a heads up. Thank you. you, Billy. Well, it was fun while it lasted. indictment has been returned by a Cuyahoga County grand jury against labor leader Daniel Patrick Green. Green, arrested last Tuesday, is charged with multiple counts of grand larceny, extortion, and labor racketeering. No testifying? No testifying. We drop the extortion and labor racketeering charges. It's 10 years. You plead guilty to two counts of falsifying financial records and agree to a lifetime ban from the union. That's what I get. Fuck you. What do you get? Well, the Bureau knows very little about organized crime in northern Ohio. So talk to us. Say once a month. Tell us what you hear. I can do that. That's just really Danny Green. America. Land of opportunity. John Nardi, please. Tell me it's Danny Green. He's got the best restaurant in town. He runs the cleanest numbers. Now everybody wants to play Shondor's numbers. The Irish, Polacks, even the Shines, all right? He's Jewish. He doesn't discriminate. Get yourself a job. You like Stroganoff? Danny Testa. Mm. More salt, I think. I have to tell you how impressed I am with how you handled your recent adversity. I provide a unique financial service to men who like to gamble. Before your time, gamblers borrowed money from casinos. The problem was, if a gambler skipped town, the casino had no recourse. So. I started to offer a six for five, meaning you borrow five, you owe six within a week. If you don't pay, you get charged 30% interest, figure-ish. Well, all this was perfectly legal, and the best part, I ran my own debt collection. Then, in its wisdom, the federal government labeled such practices loan sharking, which is... <laughs> Stop it, Tom. Come here, I want to show you something. Joey. 
Honey, what happened? The wife, she tried to have a dog now, it's fine. Eat some, enjoy. Coyote, county DA. How was I? Yes. The two men running like that collection, they were incarcerated. Is this a position that would interest you, Daddy? Man's got to work, Mr. Burns. So many young people don't understand that these days. I swear, I swear I don't know. Well, just I swear one place for me. This is it. Oh, oh. Yeah, just one place to be. Agent McGoy will be with you in just a moment, Mr. Green. Jenny, so how you doing? Hanging in there. You got anything for us? Man, nothing of interest. Oh, Eddie Green, huh? How about you tell Chandra Burns that I get Shorty's money first, baby? Second. Hey, baby, I can deal with that. Yeah, take this. No, thanks. Oh, Shondor, sorry I was light last month. Giants plus seven against the Eagles. It's a lock, right? Wrong. I'm Mike Frado, by the way. Nice truck, Mike. Thanks. I was hauling gravel till I discovered garbage. Big money in garbage. I highly recommend it. You like what you do? Yeah, sure. It's good to like what you do. Keeps the blood pressure down. <laughs> nice caddy, by the way. My wife met his wife, Joan Green, at a church luncheon. They hit it off. That made things a little awkward. Thanks, Mayor. Thank you. Hi, thank you. We missed an excellent sermon. What the hell is this? Joe and his wife gets it. Joe and his wife? Father Kildane said it'd be nice if he came to one of his services. You know, sometime this decade. To take the oath of induction into Never should have taken away this guy's title. He wouldn't go to Vietnam. I wouldn't go if I were drafted. Why stick our nose in Vietnam? English been doing that for the Irish for 2,000 years. And by the way, how are we gonna pay for it, huh? Deficit spending, my ass. Next thing you know, we'll be going off the gold standard. The country's going to hell. It's those kids smoking pot. If I were president, I'd legalize this stuff and tax the sales of it, like booze and cigarettes. In two years' time, we'd be richer than King Croesus. Danny, the game. It's the Packers. Go ahead. You got anything to eat other than that? Oh, it's great A sirloin chuck. We got no vegetables, no fruit, no nuts. This stuff's got too much cholesterol. What's cholesterol? Party's over. You got five minutes to clear out. Party ain't over. You show yourself here again, I'm coming over there. And I'm knocking all your teeth out. And I'm fucking that hot little wife of yours all night long while you watch. <laughs> So mind your P's and Q's. You're the only wop I can stand, John. You know that. <laughs> All right. Just be respectful. Jack? Leo, you, you remember Danny Green? Of course. How you doing, Danny? Yeah, sit down, Danny. Well, somebody say something. <laughs> Why am I here, John? Well, we want to talk about garbage. You know, we want to give you a hand. Oh, you decided we need a hand. 
Me and Jackie have been trying to get the union off the ground for five years. So you came here to tell us we're fuck-ups. Now, time? why do you have to talk to me? Why does he have to talk to me like that? Mm -hmm. I came here to do you a favor, and you're breaking my balls. What do you propose, John? Well, we bring Danny in the mix. And didn't you talk to Shondor? Shondor Byrne says you've been doing a good job for him. Oh, and that thing when you did with the Lone Showman Union? You handled yourself real well. Thank you. Guy who keeps his mouth shut is a stand-up guy. What do you say? All right, you got my blessing. Hot. Be prepared, huh? These uh, garbage haulers are tough nuts. <laughs> Some of these guys, it's not talking to them, you know? Believe me, we try. With all due respect, Jack, that was you talking uh, to the knot. Wait a minute, when you speak I to Mr. Lickabow, you... you're not going to be disappointed, all right? The garbage hauling plan was Danny's golden opportunity to get back in the game. The only problem was he knew next to nothing about garbage hauling. So he found someone who did. Former Golden Glove champion of Cleveland, half Lithuanian, half Irish. He'd been clearing out bars down on the docks since the 10th grade. Keith Ritson. There's a million houses in Northern Ohio. You no know, place of garbage. 200 separate companies, that's all. Chaos out there, no good to anybody. It's gonna be next to impossible to organize these guys. You got any new ideas? We hold a recruitment drive. <laughs> I know what you are. This is O'Keefe. Don't you start with me, you hear? You got guys coming around here all hours of the day or night doing God knows what. You misunderstand. Oh, I understand. But I ain't afraid of you. Now get the hell off my gate before I stop being polite. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. How's everything? All good. Be careful. It could get a little hairy in here sometimes. <laughs> what I tell you, right? It's like this every day. <laughs> now, of course, I don't want to have kids. Babies, diapers, big shit happens. My wife still looks pretty good, you know? I got a hot salami. What can I say? To what do I owe this privilege, my friend? <sighs> Jack Licavoli sent me. I should have fucking known. Okay, cut to the chase. You know what? Fuck Licavoli, fuck Lips Missouri, and all due respect, fuck you two. Well, calm down, Mike. No, I ain't calming down. I don't want to join a union. I don't give a fuck how many friends I got in New York. I built this company from scratch, up to my neck and shit every day. And I didn't work my balls off, so somebody else could just fucking walk in. You tell those guys they can't fucking muscle me. That's right. I got all the muscle I need right here. And that means you too, Danny. All I'm saying is it sets a precedent. This here guy says no, others will follow suit. Are you, uh, friends with Frado, Danny? Is that the problem? More like acquaintances, but I like the guy. Well, the fat fuck, he was given a choice. And now he's got to deal with the consequences. Hang on a sec. I think I got to say in this. A say in this? No, you don't, John. This is my union. Well, fuck you very much. Well, is there a problem here? You know, ten years ago, Skeller, she divided up the unions. Now, you got yours, I got mine. Let's not come down with a sudden case of amnesia. Yeah, we did all the work. Wait, wait, I didn't get that, John. What? what? I said we did all the work. You're trying to take over my action. That's it, isn't it? You greedy fucking prick. Look, I'm not trying to take over anything. I'm just saying... Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. We're gonna have a sit-down with Scalish over this. All right? We're gonna take this up later. Mike Frater was a dead man. Now, either you make it happen, or Lips and Vic will. You do this thing, Danny? Fredo's got ten kids, John. Ten. I don't care. You gave him a reasonable option. He cracked in your face. He 
said you wanted to be in the bigs. Sometimes you gotta do things that you don't like. You gotta make Fratto go away. Don't you disappoint me. Got a 50-yard radius, lads. Both side one of those garage doors or one of those TV changers. And a transmitter. Sends a command from the remote to the receiver. Needs lights out, lads. Fucking lights out. Good, Keith. Good. So when? Friday night. <laughs> 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 Your guys was picked up by the city PD. They're talking about making a deal. Who? Art Sneppinger. He was boosting a Mercedes to Shaker Heights. Said it was to pay down a gambling debt. I don't believe it. Art doesn't gamble. There's ten blackjack dealers in Youngstown who'll disagree. Anyway, I just thought I would keep you in the loop. I wanted to talk to you about something. You could Tonight. You said Friday. Changed my mind. Well, it's Halloween. Are you going trick or treat or not? Oh. What are you doing? Why isn't Keith? Everything all right? Yeah. Why? Keep going. Danny. Do it. I told you not to gamble, Art. What's going on? I heard voices. Go back to sleep. Theorizing, believe Fredo is getting off three shots. Green returned one shot from about 25 feet away, described by police as a lucky shot, hitting Fredo in the head. For the fifth time, no, it's the fourth, actually. I was at the municipal park like I am every morning doing my push ups when I see Mike Fredo coming at me in a Cadillac. Okay, it wasn't Mike Fredo's car. How'd you know it was him? I could smell him. The same Mike Fredo who refused to join your union. I'm barred for life in the unions, remember? The same Mike Fratto whose car was blown up by your former associate, Art Sneppinger. Doesn't sound very good, does it? I 
doesn't sound very good to a jury either. So what do you want from me? The truth. I told you the truth. Did you tell me that Danny Green murdered Mike Fratto? Hey, don't put fucking words on my mouth. I never said that. I said Then oh. you didn't tell me the truth. Let me tell you something. I ain't going before the grand jury, and I ain't testifying. Well, yes, you I are. Shit. What you yes, you are. No, I'm not. I can Pindle. subpoena you. I think I'm going to throw up. Throw up. Throw up all over yourself. I help you clean it up. Just tell me what I need to know. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth, Mikey. Okay, this is how it went down. Mike went to kill Danny Green. He threw a couple of shots at him. Danny shot back. That's it. Case closed. So it was self-defense? Absolutely. I think you got it now. Tell Fuck me. you, Mikey. I'm going to push. I'm going to push. Shut up. I mean, you were just a thug. You understand that? I'm gonna be there when you fuck up. I'm gonna put you away, you know that? What about a column with you from, Joe? Catalpa Road? Ah, north or south of you. Yeah, very nice. Look, I know you have a job to do and all that. Just, you gotta remember there's some more important things in life. You care to expand on that? Don't rock the boat, Joe. You got a nice job, nice car, nice home. When it comes to pushing, I'm the wrong guy you want pushing back. threatening me because if there's even a hint of that badge or no badge i will cut your fucking heart out with a rusty butter knife and eat it while it's still beating understand each other good but we're gonna dance there for a second you really want to dance with me Where are you going? I had it. Homeless. Shame on him. You tell him from me, may he rot in the lowest pit of death with his children and his grandchildren and everybody he ever knew. The... What's she owe? Three months. Beat it. I don't need your pity. Grace, I'm not paying your rent out of pity. You're a strong Irish woman. And I like that. Is that so? I read that article about you in the newspaper. Regular desperado, huh? Stinking lies. All of it. Well, the reporter said that you believe you're a descendant of Celtic warriors. <laughs> Was that a stinking lie? No. That I said. It's the Cuyahoga. Oh, it's the Liffey in Dublin, you big galoot. <laughs> now, you've never been there, have you? Now, I can tell. Here, have a seat. You know, Celtic men were so committed to a fight to the death that they'd always leave an heirloom as a legacy to protect the ones that they loved. This was my father's. Now, our forebears, our people, yours and mine, they weren't just fearless. They knew that there was something better than just being a big shot. Something that means having the grace of God on your shoulder to protect you so you can protect those around you. Now, you have the eyes of a warrior, it's true. But I see something else. I see goodness. There's no good in me. Don't you ever say that. We're drunks. We're fighters. We're liars. There's a bit of good in every Irishman. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Go on now. Get out of here. Go on.
you think about Danny Green? No, he's a pretty good guy. Like when I was 15, I had a mini bike, and the police took it away. He went and got it the same day, brought it back. Do you believe the press this guy's getting? They're calling him the Robin Hood of Collingwood. Well, this guy over at Cuyahoga National Bank. So Danny Green comes in the other day, and he wants to start an educational trust. He wants to take 10 orphans and put them in the best private schools in Cleveland on his own dime. Merry Christmas! <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Good men for the neighborhood. Took care of a lot of families that were in need. Gave turkeys away for Christmas. Gave turkeys away for Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas, boys! Merry Christmas. Holidays, man. It's good. Have a holiday if you are. I tell you about the time I met Marilyn Monroe. She was in town on some publicity thing. One night she comes into the theatrical with some people, including the cockney writer she married, Miller. Arthur Miller. Archie Miller, yeah. And everybody's there. Licaboli, Lips Mosseri. Yeah. And uh, these guys are gushing over her. When end of the evening comes, and Miller. So I'm alone. What's the matter? The, the soup's not hot enough? Why aren't you eating? It's hot. We're trying to talk. It's like potatoes. You must. You're Irish. Let's not have a conversation. Ruth, oh, for I'm Christ's going. sake. Okay. None of these guys had it in them to make a move. It takes hustler, brass nuts to get what you want. She wants a doll. Her skin was like milk. What sort of place do you envision? Restaurant and lounge. Mm. Good food. Good cocktails, pretty waitresses, pure class all the way. Mm -hmm. Calling it the Dublin Public House. Mm -hmm. How much do you need? I figure 70 grand will get me started. I'll get you the money. Not mine. A businessman doesn't invest his own money. You know who the Gambinos are? Sure. Big Dago's in New York. Oh, well, be serious. Because when it comes to money, take my word, they're very serious. I'll send a courier to New York. Thank you, Shonda. You've earned it. My young friend. I want the entrance to jump out, you know? I want uh, people to feel invited. Uh, I want big gates, you know? The, the big wrought iron gates. Excuse me. What time do you open? 6.30. I read this thing about the benefits of an all-vegetable diet. What do you think? What do I think? Yeah. Uh, sure. Thanks. Yeah. Where are you from? Are you shy? Youngstown. Youngstown's a tough town. You don't look tough. Why'd you leave? I, uh, I was living with my uncle. Didn't work out. Well, Ellie, the fair's over in Cuyahoga Falls this month. Do you want to go? You mean, like, on a date or something? Yeah. Mind if I ask what you do for a living? I'm in the restaurant business. Hell, hmm. God damn it, I told you to sweep the back room. Mr. Green, I'm sorry, I didn't... Oh, she's okay with you, okay? No problem. It's all good. Everything's good. Take your time. I'll sweep out the back room. Looking back, those were the good years. Danny and I were never friends, but I got a kick out of the guy. We even ended up coaching youth baseball together. Joe, you're straight now. You're about as straight as a bench lady. And just when it looked like Danny was going to really turn the corner... So where the fuck's a guy like you come up with 70 large? It was going to some chump in Cleveland. I borrowed it temporarily. There's no way to sugarcoat this kid. The courier picked up your money, but instead of bringing it here, he bought six kilos of cocaine. I'll fucking kill him. Probably not. He's in Rikers Island. Where's the money? Evidence locker, I suppose. I'll make an arrangement. Talk to Licaboli. Offer that you do a couple jobs free for the family. That way, you don't have to pay a big. Big? There's going to be interest on the money. You borrowed money from the Gambino family, Danny. I did? How do you borrow money if you don't receive it? I understand that, but they won't. In their eyes... Lost money is lost money. Well, I didn't lose it. The courier lost it. I understand. It was your courier. If anyone's on the hook, Shonda, it's you. What? I didn't hire the courier. You did. What are you saying? 
What I'm saying is, I lost nothing to nobody. Thus, I owe nothing to nobody. Coming after me will be unjust. And if the WAPs in New York don't see it that way, then fuck them. And if you don't see it that way, fuck you. for the man who kills the Irishman. G's for the head of Danny Green. 25? Yep. In cash. <laughs> now, come on, you should be flattered. You want my advice? Always. Turn this thing around. You know, pay Sean to a 70 large that you own. You know, don't argue. Just pay it. And walk away. I can't do that. Why not? Pride. Like the Celtic warrior shit. It's not shit. Yeah, you know, you've been careful, always, and that's what's kept you alive. You cannot go to war with Shondor Burns. Remember what I told you. Can't be too careful. Thank you, Mr. Green. Put a 24 hour tail on him. That was fun. That Ferris wheel was something, huh? I'm not dumb. Men outside or the police, aren't they? Cleveland's finest. You have a bad reputation. People say you're crazy and I should watch out. What people? Who's saying this? I'm not telling you. You probably killed him. You really believe that? Why'd your wife leave you? I was different then. Look, maybe I should just. No, 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 stay. There's beer in the fridge. I don't drink. You got soda? In the fridge. behind my house five minutes.
Here it comes. Ah, shit. Where the fuck did she come from? What have they pieced together? Any idea who it is? As far as I can determine, it's a white male. The part that we've got uh, recovered just the upper torso. Oh, there's pieces all over the place. Uh, found a leg over against a fence. Inside, Rabbi Rudolf Rosenthal characterized Burns as no saint. But he said the numbers figure had much charity and was often generous and had many friends. But also to recognize that everybody is fallible. Shakespeare said if each one of us uh, got his just desserts, nobody would escape a whipping. John Scalish at 3.45 this afternoon had a heart attack and died. John Scalish, Cleveland's Don of 34 years, died during routine surgery. The problem was that Scalish hadn't named a successor, and the only two candidates for the job hated each other. Jack Licavoli, who spent half his time sucking up to the Sicilians in New York, and John Nardi, who didn't. Guess who won? What are we gonna do about the Irishman? All right, ask for a meeting. You keep Nardi out of it, he's friends with the fuck. The Irishman can have Sean's business, but we take our cut. So essentially what you're saying is um, we do all the work and you get 30% for doing nothing, right? That's the arrangement, 30%. And characterize it any way you want. Any way I want. Any way you want. Really? Really. Okay. How about this? A gang of hairy, greasy wops who came into existence when a Greek fucked a goat, one of extort hard-earned money from a band of noble Irish stock. How's that? <coughs> hold on, hold on. You got a dirty mouth, young man. You guys have let me dry for too long. Irishman's in business for himself now. Oh, by the way, I know why you guys call each other Ronnie the Crab, and Peanuts, and Frankie B. It's because you're too fucking stupid to remember each other's names. See you around, lips. <laughs> Down here close? We grew up together. What's your angle? I know insults are insults, but the, the Shandor Burns thing has got a lot of people pissed. Not at you, Billy. How would you feel about going into business with me and owning all of Collingwood? What the hell is this thing? You've talked to Licavoli? Of course. Not about the time you stepped up, think how easy it'd be. Very easy. Times when other people have attempted uh, sheds in his life, uh, a fatal situation. But uh, I have no idea, and I'm sure Mr. Green doesn't this time. He's a little shook up. Police have issued arrest warrants for the two men they say are responsible for blowing up Dan Green's home. So far, those men have not been caught, and police are expected to go to the grand jury this week to seek indictments. Brian Ross, Action 3 News. Missed? What does that mean, huh? People are intimidated. Intimidated? Are you intimidated? 
Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. The night before my house went up, I heard a rumor that Tommy Sinito came to you with an offer to play Judas. Two days later, Cleveland PD finds him at the bottom of a lake tied to a cast iron sink you were hauling around. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> You're the only fan I've got in this world, Danny. You know that. Sometimes someone's tried to kill you. How do you account for the fact that you uh, survive each time? I'm an Irish Catholic with the grace of God on my shoulder. I'm not going anywhere until he says so. You see this trailer behind me? It's where I work. See the bar at the end of the street there? Get a shot of that. I live on the top floor. Let me tell you something. If any of these maggots from the so-called mafia want to come after me, I'm not a hard man to find. You must have the biggest nuts in Cleveland. Uh, yeah, I saw you in the news. The problem is you got too much heat on you. Like a bully breaking your balls, John? Well, he's not blowing up my house. Huh. You're fucking Cretan one, right? he's the boss. I get that. The cocksucker's trying to take over my business. I gotta put my foot down. I was thinking. Maybe you need somebody to watch your back. What are you saying? All I'm saying is alone. I could never take over like a boat. But together, there's no stopping us. You want to be partners? Yeah. You're serious. You, you know, I'm going to show you how serious that, that I am. This is the kid from the Highlander, the valet who put the bomb in your car. For those involved, life expectancy is very short and getting shorter. That summer in 1976, 36 bombs exploded in Cleveland. The Danny Green War became the subject of national attention. Federal authorities expect more murders as the hierarchy of organized crime in Cleveland continues to violently realign. Jeff Campbell, Eyewitness News, Cleveland. steel door? It's just a precaution. I want you safe. I don't want safe. I want you. It's a clatter ring. Women in Ireland have worn them for 300 years. The hands symbolize friendship, the heart, love, and the crown loyalty. To wear it with the heart facing out it means you're free. To wear it with the heart facing in it means you're taken. Don't put it on until you know. Ellie, I have a plan. A plan to set things right. But it will mean leaving here. 
for good. Cleveland. It's all I've ever known, but it's no good for me anymore. I want to go someplace I can breathe again. I'm getting calls from New York every half hour. This guy, he went on television daring us to do something about it. I'm not allowed. What am I going to tell them, huh? What is going on here? Your people, your people, you can't do a simple job? My people, my people, your people. Your family is becoming a major fucking embarrassment. I am still getting calls from Polly Castellano about that 70 G's that he lent to that prick, Shandor Burns. What the hell is going on out there? This is one guy, and you can't take care of it? We shot him, we, we've blown him up. I mean, nothing we do seems to matter with this guy. Eight times you've tried to get this Mick cocksucker, eh? What are you doing? Where's your men? Where's Brancato? He's watching the city. Watching the city. Might as well give the city to this Mick prick. All right. I understand that you got a difficult situation here. Generally speaking, you got things under control. I understand that. I'm going to propose something to you, okay? I would consider it a personal favor if you would ask my help in this, okay? I can do this for you. I can be there for you on this one here. But you have to give me the word. Do me this favor. Then it's done. Vast lands fit for an industry on their eyes, Texas cattle ranching. I don't know where you come up with these crazy ideas. I mean, do you know anything about Texas? No. You know anything about cattle ranching? No, you do not. He's crazy, you know that. What's it gonna take to get this place in order, John? You know, all of it. The land, new cattle, you know, the whole thing. Like a couple million. I mean, not much, huh? I'm guessing. Why not? You can move Damn straight. You have that much money? You know, someone once told me a businessman never invests his own money. <laughs> you got a pair of balls, let me tell you. <laughs> Two million dollars. Two million dollars. You didn't pay back the 70000 that you borrowed. Why should I let you $2 million? To get rid of me. Then get rid of you. I get rid of you with one spick outside for $100. What the fuck are you talking about? Now let me take this guy out back right now and take Shut it. the fuck up! I apologize. I'll leave Cleveland, hand everything over to Licavoli. Your money will help fix up Texas E. Lots, Lance, Cattle. And the best part, we sell the meat through co-op outlets that I can tie directly to the unions. That guarantees sales nationwide. Projected income is $3 million in the first year alone. Gotta have a cattle drive like John Wayne, huh? Yippee, I-O. Oh, we're gonna become cowboys. So this is the Irishman, huh? That's right. It's not as crazy as it sounds. You know, you'd be getting 50% of the cut. And more importantly, this business is legitimate. You know, totally. I mean, almost. I'll think about it. Good to see you again, Frank. How do you think it went in there? Yeah, it was good to see you, too. Who knows when I'll see you again? I got a joke you can pass on to Salerno. What is it? Why do you call Italian guys wapped? Uh, Throw a piece of shit against a wall and goes wap. Yeah, yeah. Wap this. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. All of you. Bunch of Irish tricks here. All of you. Who the fuck out of here? I want you to go to Los Angeles. See Ray Ferrito. Do you want back to Italy? No. Take Julius with you, so we get two for the price of one. Okay. Whatever's gotta be. This is the guy? You don't look so tough. I understand you're having some problems in Cleveland. Yeah, I got two problems. This guy, Nadi, and uh, this guy, the Irishman. 
What's in it for me? You don't worry about your shit. New York wants this guy out. You take him out. He'll get yours, the right guy? Once John Nadi's gone, you'll get his territory and everything that comes with it. We could always agree. Yeah. Hey. So how are you gonna do it? I mean, it's not like you can just walk up to the guy in your fancy business suit and say, hi, I'm here to whack you. Sure you can. Hi, I'm here to whack you. See you in Cleveland. Yeah, hey, have a nice trip. Who gives a shit about Texas anyway? This place smells like shit. I'm gonna take this city over, Dan. Hey, right, pal? Sure. You and me. John, I want you to be careful. You know, you're Irish, you worry too much. <laughs> Look, I never liked that little Wally. And I don't trust that cocksucker in New York either. You know what? And they're scared. You and me. And they got good reason to be. <laughs> hey, Danny. We're moving up! Far from here. I'll go home while I don't have to rest. John, let's just rest here. Hey, buddy. Hey, Danny. We're moving up, Danny boy. We sure are. Everything's gonna be all right. Danny, come on! Three decades, a prominent member of Cleveland's crime syndicates was killed today by a bomb rigged to the ignition of his car. Nardi's murder brings the number of organized crime figures slain in Cleveland this year to four. Reporting live from Cleveland, Jeff Campbell. Most people in Cleveland would say that about you. Who are you? Huh? Answer me. Who are you? What'd you call me for? I shouldn't be doing this. Look, if all he wants to sit down with you, just you and him. If an offer you were treated, you want yourself to Danny. You're the only one he'll listen to. What do I look like, a fucking idiot? We're gonna drive over to a payphone down at the docks. Look, if all he's gonna call at 3 p.m. You tell him where you want him to go, and he'll be there. And if anything feels fishy, shoot me in the fucking head, okay? Come on. Get in the fucking car. The fuck I don't believe nobody. It's fucking impossible, man. Huh? Right on time. Name the place. Tell him to meet me behind the highland. You got it.
the ice. Bad tooth. You want to talk? I heard about your friend Billy. Your man Keith. <sighs> Me and mine will take our chances. It's bad, Danny. It's over. His name is Ray Frito. He checked him out. He doesn't make mistakes. He gets close. Family. Your mother. Your girlfriend. And I'm not built a bomb big enough to kill Danny Green. You really think the luck of the Irish is going to save you? My enemies will be taken care of, Joe. I promise. Good luck, Danny. I was too embarrassed to recite this in person, so I'm sending this in a letter. The Ballad of Danny Green. They've shot and they've bombed, tried all that they knew to bring Danny Green's time to an end. But warriors don't fall. This legend still stands. My captain, my brother, my friend, Bill McComber. Change the oil. She's clean. Sure you don't want me to go with it? Nah. Get your fucking hands off my car.
Ray Ferrito, the hitman who killed Danny Green, got too big for his britches, so the Cleveland Mafia took a contract out on him. What did Ray Ferrito do? Went to the feds and cut a deal. The resulting trial led to the indictments of Jack Licavoli and L.A. gangster Jimmy the Weasel Fratiano, who testified against Mafia associates across the nation. It would all lead to the famous commission trial, which convicted bosses in each of New York's five families. Danny Green's murder directly led to the indictment of 27 Mafia associates and the collapse of organized crime in Cleveland. The Cleveland Mafia has never recovered. This is about the fourth time someone's tried to kill you. How do you account for the fact that you uh, survive each time? You're not going to give you that Irish version? What's the Irish the version? Guy upstairs pulls the string you're gone. There's no other way. 